get this thing and bring it back, right? Simple. Yeah. So, but you can't use you know GPS or magnetic compass. Well, maybe a little more difficult. You have to do all the navigation on board. Now, how are you going to do that? And so each of the teams kind of tries to solve problems in a different way. And uh, that's the part that's really fascinating. So different ways to approach similar problems. They come with different budgets. They come with different you know knowledge bases. Uh, I was joking yesterday that you know how the robot behaves is a reflection of how these people actually think. Uh, I don't think that's fair. Just sort of the way some of the robots behave may not have been as linear as some of the way that people think. Of. So it's uh, it was really exciting to watch and then get the opportunity to meet the team. And then uh, tomorrow, you know, another public event. But it's always great to get to talk to school kids today. Which uh, get anytime I get a chance to go outside, get outside of Houston or actually away from NASA centers, it's always fun to go out and talk to people uh, just to get a bit of the understanding of what they think we do, tell them what we really do, and uh, see if we can get some of that communication going. So, other than that, what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> actually, nobody told me what to say. It's always the fun part. But yes, since, I mean, people only talk on keyboards. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it right if they're all talking on their phones. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's success. <laughs> you know, you can end up with no filter. So, you know, I actually, on uh, 132, if you remember that crew, we always had to make sure we had a filter for some of our members. Educational opportunity there. So, you almost have, somebody must have a question. So, what are you doing? What's your role with NASA right now? Right, so I'm still active in the astronaut office. The astronaut office is shrinking. Uh, I think we're at less than 50 now, which means that we're still trying to cover the same number of uh, ground up jobs and opportunities that we have always, which means we can't. Uh, so we're all really, really busy. I was in charge of the EBA branch of the office up until uh, January of this year. And then because uh, during the four years, basically, I was doing nothing with flying, my Russian got real rusty and my uh, robotics training fell way behind. So I turned over my job in January to Dan Burbank, who now has the EVA branch, and I went to Canada for some robotics training, you know, spending more time working on my Russian. So I need to get it up to a certain level, finish my robotics qualifications, and then I'll be excited for a space station mission. So that's hopefully not too distant future goals. That's what I do now. <laughs> And I still 